Hey guys, welcome back to another video. The, I just wanted this video to be like a little live commentary thing on Call of Duty Modern Warfare, you know. I'm not gonna be, you know, editing this a lot or anything. I, ju I just wanted to talk, you know what I'm saying? Like I saw what Jay Schlatt was doing the weekly slap. And, you know, I thought I had a couple words of wisdom as well to say, you know. Regardless of my age, me, me being only 17, I guess. Like, uh, basically, I have a lot of experience in content creation because I've been doing it for quite a while. I've been watching YouTubers, like, blow up and fall off. I've basically been consuming this media for, for like, a very, very long time. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to talk about the overall concept of selling out as a content creator. And, uh, yeah, nah, seriously. Like, a lot of people really talk about this. It's like, people say, oh, you sold out, you know, this, this, and that. Not just with me. Like, I don't think a lot of people have called me a sellout. Like, they probably think I'm a sellout, which is, <laughs> dude, it's very true. It's extremely true, man, you know. Like, I've sold out several times, considering everything. You know, and, and you know, sometimes I do actually regret selling out, quote-unquote. But, really, I realize that, in all honesty, content creators, they live and die by their numbers, okay? Like, it basically, it really does matter how many people are watching you, how many people are constantly subscribing and watching your videos actively, if they're, like, enjoying your videos and all that. It really does matter, you know? And that's why I like to say that content creators live and die by their numbers. And, uh, yeah, I did say previously that, uh, you know, I kind of consider my- Like, I basically consider myself a sellout. Why do I consider myself a sellout? Well, I'll tell you why. I've been basically milking the same form of content for five years. Like, I originally gained popularity around, like, 2019 in, like, the Krunker era when I just played a bunch of Krunker. And I always had playing with viewers in my title. And I was always constantly interacting with my viewers and playing with them consistently. And, uh, yeah, I've just been milking that entire trend since 2019. Like, back in 2019, we had, like, Krunker playing with viewers. And in 2021, I bought it back. And, you know, it's been going very well since then, you know. Like, 2021, we had the Krunker era, part two. Then, we had the start of the Hypixel Skyblock era, where I just literally play Hypixel Skyblock on stream and just allow people to join and, you know, give me things, like, in-game, you know, contraband, I guess that's what they call it. You know, I, I, I never really was all that knowledgeable about Skyblock, mostly because everything that was given to me was given to me by my viewers which i'm i'm very thankful for that like i appreciate every single person who's given me things on hypixel skyblock even back then all right like i'm very grateful for that but really with that it allowed me to skip the whole entire progression of the game because i was given everything that i ever wanted by people who you know supported me and all that in my streams and my content and you know that was that. That was the Hypixel Skyblock era. After that, you know, after I saw that, you know, Hypixel Skyblock was taking a nosedive, obviously I had to, like, change up the content, you know. I had to change it up a little bit. So, I came up with the SMPs. Like, really, honestly, it's SMPs aren't really an original concept. Like, every single person and their mother has one now, you know. Even in, like, 2022 when I started making SMPs and all that, like, publicly joinable SMPs. It's not a new concept, alright? A lot of people have done publicly joinable SMPs before. <laughs> like, dude, I literally looked at what was successful on YouTube, and then I just did the same thing. Now, the S the story behind my SMP was actually, like, very interesting, because I was actually wanting that to be, like, a one-off stream. Like, the original idea for the O-Risk SMP was that it's, it was going to be, like, a hardcore SMP. Like, you die once... And then you get banned. You can never play on it again. Which, it sounds good, but no one actually played on the server. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no one actually played on it. <laughs> so literally the day later, I was like, what if I just redo everything? What if I just change the entire concept of the server and just make it like a publicly joinable, normal, regular Minecraft server? 
And from then on, like, the rest is history, really. Like, we went from, like, 300 subscribers to, like, a thousand in, like, quite a short amount of time. In, like, less than a year, which is crazy. And, like, still, from time to time, I do go back to SMPs. Either, like, really asking myself why I go back to SMPs, like, some of it is me actually wanting to play the game. But then, there's another part of me, which realizes that, you know, I got a lot of views and a lot of attention from people for doing these SP videos and SP live streams. So I, I guess a part of me just wanted to like redo that. I wanted to get it all again. You know, I wanted to, you know, you know, just, uh, the, you know, the, 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 that one meme saying I got one more in me. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was me basically. Like I got one more in me. Look at me, man. So yeah, I'd basically start up the S&P again to like, either like just siphon views off of the entire trend. And like, slightly for like the first couple of weeks I'd actually enjoy it, but then I just kept continuing it because the views were good. Like, they were insanely good. Like, that's where I met, that's where I met this, uh, this, uh, this other content creator. Who now goes by, uh, uh, Purple Ghost, I believe. But yeah, that back then he used to go by Wish, and he basically like... Joined one of my live streams, and and yeah, you know, we just we just kick we just hit it off all the way back then. Yeah, we still I still talk to the guy, and and really that just shows the power of the S and P. I guess like it was able to reach so many people around the world. Like other content creators were looking at me, and you know wanted to make videos with me. The S and P is also like one of the big things that, you know, kind of gave me an in to like other content creators like I could name I could name a bunch of content creators who I know because of the SMPs like I'm just gonna name a couple of them I'm, I like I know simply from it simply VR MC whatever he goes by uh the aforementioned purple ghost who, who's actually a part of reserve he's a part of my team reserve my content team and uh you know inspiring <laughs> sports but hey I don't know that that's way in the future right now we're just like a content org but, uh, yeah. Met those two people there. And yeah, what... Yeah, the SMPs really worked out. So why did I really stop doing the SMPs? Like, the views were good, they were continuously coming, but... Really, I realized something. That I just didn't enjoy it. Like, at the end of the day, I... I didn't want to go live. Like, what every single day I went live, I would just, like walk around and do absolutely nothing. I wouldn't progress at all. I felt like I was wasting my time. Like I could be, you know, using my time more effectively. So, I tried to like, spice it up. I tried to spice up the SMP with a season 2. Which flopped, mainly because like, no one really interacted with each other. Which is my fault, I guess, in a way. But uh, yeah we had an S SMP season 2. Then we had a season 3, which we don't talk about, because it absolutely flopped. Then we just shut the entire server down. I still go back to the SMP sort of content from time to time, just because of, like, the views being good. But, here's what I would do after the SMPs, though. Like, I'd milk those SMPs for, like, a year. I, d I don't know how I did it. I somehow milked it for a year. <laughs> like... <laughs> Like, I milked it from, like, 2022 to 2023. But in 2023, man, life life was good, man. Like, I'm not gonna get into specifics, but I'm just gonna say that life was good, alright? Summer came around, 2023 summer came around, and then I realized, wait a minute, I saw this video by this commentary YouTuber named Dumpy. And, uh, it was, uh, it was something about, like, the Minecraft PNG tuber epidemic. And I noticed something about these people, it's like... They were, they were just there sitting down, and they just read their comments in YouTube Shorts format. So, I asked myself the question, you know, how could I get onto this trend, but put even less amount of effort into it? Then I realized I could just run around the Minecraft world and say, Minecraft, but I'm going to read your comments. And then just not even read the comments and say that I will read them in the future. That, that blew my channel up even more. Like, I went from about 1.4k subs to, like, 4k. So, statistically speaking, I basically quadrupled my sub count <laughs> in, like, a month, <laughs> which is crazy. 
Now, going back to, like, the actual, uh, question, really. Like, after I told you all this, this was very important, alright? I'll tell you why. All of this is context, because... Now you're able to see the degrees to which I sold out, you know? Because, now that I told you all of this, there is no question about it. This is selling out. This is basically, like, textbook sellout content, you know what I'm saying? This is what sellouts do. It's like they hop onto anything that they see trendy, and then they just milk the milk the trend dry, you know. So, yeah, you know, why did I actually stop selling out? Like I, you know, listen, I'm never gonna stop selling out, okay? Like, don't hate the player, hate the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, really, us content creators, we're just playing the content creation game. All right, we're just playing the game. We're just trying to get our numbers. We're trying to get our views up, subs up, and everything. And unfortunately, we gotta play the game in order to do this. By playing the game, I mean we need to, like, play into what the algorithm wants. Play into what viewers want. You know? Play into what... What gets us the best numbers. Unfortunately, I, ha I still have to play this game, okay? But really... Why I'm doing this Call of Duty commentary right now is just because... You know, sometimes... Selling out a lot... Well, you're basically selling your soul to the YouTube algorithm. And it's not very fun. It's not the most fun experience out there. Like, man, there were days where, like, in the in the reading your comments era, where I would wake up, and I wouldn't even want to read the comments. I would, like, listen, it's not, it's not that it's, like, a hard thing to do. It's just that I had to wake up every single day look at my comment section and see a bunch of brain rot comments there, you know? And I'd have to, like, I'd have to, like, output, like, five videos a day, minimum, in, like, YouTube shorts. For, for, like, the, the momentum to keep on going. I had to keep, I had to keep the content going, bro, you know? So, really, I, it felt so mentally draining, because I couldn't actually do what I wanted to do. So, I just kept, like, doing the reading your comments thing, but eventually it became so much for me that I just stopped it entirely. All right now, obviously I'm back to it. I'm back in the game, baby. All right, I'm literally back. But yeah, you know, I realized that like even in the reading your comments days in like the Minecraft butt videos, which I didn't even talk about, they were all fake. Like a lot of those Minecraft butt short challenges v videos, you know, I faked them. <laughs> I faked them. I remember there was one of them where it was like, Minecraft, but if I touch grass, I die. And I failed the challenge by breaking a crafting table, which I was standing on. Like, obviously I knew that I was going to fail the challenge, but I still broke it in order for me to touch grass, because I literally couldn't bear recording the challenge. So I just put up a fake reaction of me just breaking the crafting table and being surprised, realizing that I, fa like, like I failed the challenge. Yeah, it was fake. And really, these videos... Like, I realized that I was limiting myself too much. Like, even back in those days, like, I was making different videos. I was still making Fortnite videos, which I did enjoy back then. I still do enjoy making them, you know? Like, I made those videos too. I, like, balanced it out with videos that I actually enjoyed making and things that I didn't and just did for the views and the subs. So, so yeah, at some point... Like, I basically went from balancing everything to just mainly prioritizing the numbers. And I would only do the reading your comments, the challenges. That's all I would do. Just because I knew that that was, like, the easiest way to grow. You know, I basically limited myself into only making these videos. And I wouldn't actually focus on what I personally wanted to do. And that, that led to me burning out. Like... I've seen the impact of my work. I've seen it. Like, dude, the O-Risk YouTube channel literally quadrupled its sub count when I did that, alright? But still, I was extremely burned out. Extremely. And I just couldn't keep up. So, I quit. I quit doing it. I took a break. And I left. I didn't do it anymore. And I, and I said, you know what, I hate the Minecraft community. I do this, I do that. You know, but really, it was just me burning out. That's what I would do. I was very, very burned out. 
And really, like coming to the end of this video, like the moral of this mess, moral of this video, I guess, is to 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 have a balance on things, have a balance on what you actually enjoy doing and and what you don't. Like have a balance between them. Don't just mainly focus on one thing, okay? Because if you focus on that one thing which gets you the most amount of numbers and the most amount of views, you will feel extremely burned out. And that's why I started doing these Call of Duty commentaries, because I, you know, I wanted to give my own input on things. And uh, I think I have something valuable to add to the conversation. I guess I got my own perspective. But uh, yeah, you know what? That's that's basically like the end of the video. Um, that's my stance on uh, you know, me being a sellout, I guess. Uh, yeah, and just tell me what you guys think about it. Do you guys like the new form of uh, live commentaries? Does it remind you too much of the weekly slamp? Tell me about it, man. I always want to, you know, get better feedback every single video. So, please, tell me what you think. Do you agree with what I'm saying? Do you not? Let me know, man. But yeah, with that being said, take care, guys.